Balarama, Sanskrit, Balarama, Iast, Balarama is a Hindu god and the elder brother of Krishna. He is particularly significant in the Jagannath tradition, as one of the triad deities. He is also known as Baladeva, Balabhadra, Haladhara and Halayuda. The first two epithets refer to his strength, the last two associate him with Hala Langala, plow. From his strong associations with farming and farmers, as the deity who used farm equipment as weapons when needed, while some legends and texts consider Balarama as avatar of Shesha, the companion of Vishnu, he is considered to be an avatar of Vishnu himself in texts raising Krishna to the Brahman, or ultimate reality itself, and the fountainhead of all other avatars and creation. Balarama's significance in the Indian culture has ancient roots. His image and artwork is dated to around the start of the Common Era, and in coins dated to the 2nd century BCE. In Jainism, he is known as Baladeva and has been a historically significant farmer-related deity. History Balarama is an ancient deity, a prominent one by the epics era of Indian history as evidenced by archaeological and numismatic evidence. His iconography appears with Naga many-headed serpent, a plough and other farm artifacts such as watering pot, possibly indicating his origins in a bucolic, agricultural culture. Balarama's legend appears in many Parva books of the Mahabharata. The Book III Parva states Krishna and him to be brothers born to separate mothers, but one father. Book I states the circumstances that lead to light-skinned Balarama, and dark-skinned Krishna. Book 13 Parva presents the mythology of Sesha's incarnation into Balarama, as Vishnu incarnated as Krishna, likely reflecting the basis why most of ancient and early medieval artworks of Balarama show a snake hood on top of his head. Balarama is a significant deity in Hinduism, but his significance varies by region and text. In many, he is an avatar of Shesha Naga while Krishna is an avatar of Vishnu. In some such as late medieval era Jayadeva's list, Balarama is an avatar of Vishnu, while Krishna is the source of all avatars and existence. In some art works of the Vijayanagara Empire, temples of Gujarat and elsewhere, for example, Baladeva is the eighth avatar of Vishnu, prior to the Buddha Buddhism or Jina Jainism. <laughs> Topic. Texts Narratives of Balarama are found in Mahabharata, Harivamsha, Bhagavata Purana, Krishna Charit Manas and other Puranas. He is classified in the Vayuha avatar Sankarshana wherein Adishesha and Lakshmana are part of. The legend of him as the incarnation of Adisesha, the serpent Vishnu rested on, reflects his role and interconnection with Vishnu. However, the Balarama's mythology and his association with the ten avatars of Vishnu is relatively younger, that is post-Vedic though ancient, because it is not found in the Vedic texts. Balarama finds a mention in Kautilya's Arthashastra 4th to 2nd century BCE, where according to Hudson, his followers are described as ascetic worshippers. With shaved heads or braided hair, Balarama, as Baladewa, is an important character in the 11th century Javanese text Kakawan Bharatayuda, the Kakawan poem based on the Mahabharata. Topic: <laughs> Coins, arts, and epigraphy. Coins dated to about 185 to 170 BCE from the Agathocles era show Balarama's iconography and Greek inscriptions. Balarama Samkarshana is typically shown standing with a gada in his right hand and holding plough in his left. On the other side of these coins is Vasudeva Krishna holding the conch and chakra. Other than being evidence of Balarama's significance in ancient times, according to Singh and classical numismatic group, these suggest that he and Krishna were a part of the developing interaction between Hellenistic Greeks and ancient Indians. At Chila's two archaeological site dated to the first half of 1st century CE in northwest Pakistan, near Afghanistan border, are engraved two males along with many Buddhist images nearby. The larger of the two males holds a plough and club in his two hands. The artwork also has an inscription with it in Kharosthi script, which has been deciphered by scholars as Rama Krsna, and interpreted as an ancient depiction of the two brothers Balarama and Krishna. 
The early Balarama images found in Jansuti Mathura, Uttar Pradesh and two at Tumain Ashoknagar, Madhya Pradesh are dated to 2nd, 1st century BCE and these show Balarama holding a hala plow and a musala pestle in his two hands. In some Indian ancient arts and texts, Balarama Sankarsana and Krishna Vasudeva are two of the five heroes Pankaviras of the Vrishnas. The other three differ by the text. In some those are Pratyumna, Samba and Aniruddha, in others Anadursti, Sarana and Viduratha. The 1st century Mora well inscription near Mathura, dated between 10 and 25 CE, mention the installation of five Vrishni heroes in a stone temple. The earliest surviving Southeast Asian artwork related to Balarama is from the Panam Da collection, near Angkor Bore in Cambodia's lower Mekong Delta region. Topic legends Balarama was the son of Vasudeva. The evil king Kamsa, the brother of Devaki, was intent upon killing the children of his sister because of a prediction that he would die at the hands of her eighth child. Evil demon Kamsa had already killed the first six children of Devaki by smashing the newborns on a stone. Vishnu intervened and when Balarama was conceived state the Hindu legends, his embryo was moved from Devaki's womb into the womb of Rahini, Vasudeva's first wife. In some texts, this movement gives Balarama the epithet Sankarshana one who was dragged away. Balarama grew up with his younger brother Krishna with foster parents, in the household of Yashoda and Nanda. The chapter 10 of the Bhagavata Purana describes it as follows, The Bhagavan as the self of everything tells the creative power of his unified consciousness Yogamaya about his plan for his own birth as Balarama and Krishna. He begins with Balarama. The whole of Shesha, which is my abode, will become an embryo in Devaki's womb which you shall transplant to Rahini's womb. He was named Rama, but because of his great strength he was called Balarama, Baladeva, or Balabhadra, meaning strong Rama. He was born on Shravana Purnima or Ruksha Bundan. Topic Childhood and marriage One day, Nanda requested the presence of sage Gargamuni, his priest, to name the newborn Krishna and Balarama. When the Garga arrived, Nanda, received him well and requested the naming ceremony. Gargamuni then reminded Nanda that Kansa was looking for the son of Devaki and if he performed the ceremony in opulence, it would come to his attention. Nanda therefore asked Garga to perform the ceremony in secret and Garga did so, because Balarama, the son of Rahini, increases the transcendental bliss of others, his name is Rama and because of his extraordinary strength, he is called Baladeva. He attracts the Yadis to follow his instructions and therefore his name is Sankarshana. Balarama spent his childhood as a cow herder with his brother Krishna. He killed Danuka, an Asura sent by Kansa, as well as Pralamba and Mushtaka wrestlers sent by the king. After the evil king died, Balarama and Krishna went to the ashrama of sage Sandapani at Ujjain for study. He married Ravati. Balarama is the celebrated plower, one of the pillars of agriculture along with livestock with whom Krishna is associated with. The plow is Balarama's weapon. In the Bhagavata Purana, he uses it to fight demons, dig a way for Yamuna River to come closer to Vrindavan and pull the entire capital of Hastinapura into the Ganges River. Topic. Kurukshetra War of Mahabharata Balarama taught both Duryodhana of the Kauravas and Bhima of the Pandavas the art of fighting with a mace. When war broke between the Kauravas and the Pandavas, Balarama cared for both sides and so remained neutral. He went for a pilgrimage with his nephew Pratyumna and other Yadavas during the war, and returned on the last day, to watch the fight between his disciples. When Bhima defeated Duryodhana by striking him in the thigh with his mace, Balarama threatened to kill Bhima. This was prevented when Krishna reminded Balarama of the vow of Bhima to kill Duryodhana by crushing the thigh he had exposed to Bhima's wife Draupadi. Topic. Disappearance In the Bhagavata Purana, it is described that after Balarama took part in the battle causing the destruction of the remainder of the Yadu dynasty and witnessing the disappearance of Krishna, he sat down in a meditative state and departed from this world. Some scriptures describe a great white snake that left the mouth of Balarama, in reference to his identity as Ananta Sesha. The place where he departed is situated near Somnath Temple in Gujarat. The local people of Varaval believe that in the cave near the temple place, the white snake who came out of Balarama's mouth got into that cave and went back to Patal Lok. Topic. Significance In the Hindu traditions, Balarama has been a farmer's patron deity, signifying as one who is 
harbinger of knowledge of agricultural tools and prosperity. He is almost always shown and described with Krishna, such as in stealing butter, playing childhood pranks, complaining to Yashoda that his baby brother Krishna had eaten dirt, playing in cow pens, studying together at the school of Guru Sandapani, fighting evil wrestlers sent in by Kamsa to kill the two brothers. He was the constant companion of Krishna, ever watchful, leading to the epithet, Luck Luck Daji, or Luck Luck Dababa in the Pustamurga tradition of Vaishnavism. He is creative store of knowledge for the agriculturists, the knowledge that dug a water channel to bring Yamuna water to Vrindavan, that restored groves, farms and forests, that produced goods and drinks. In Hindu texts, Balarama almost always supports Krishna in form and spirit. However, there are occasions where the dialogues between Balarama and Krishna present different viewpoints, with Krishna's wisdom establishing Krishna to be the ultimate divinity. Balarama's symbolic constant association with Krishna makes him the protector and supporter of Dharma. Iconography Balarama is depicted as light skinned, in contrast to his brother, Krishna, who is dark skinned. Krishna in Sanskrit means dark. His ayuda or weapons are the plough hala and the gada. The plough is usually called balakita. He often wears blue garments and a garland of forest flowers. His hair is tied in a topknot and he has earrings, bracelets and armlets and he is known for his strength, the reason for his name. In the Jagannath tradition, one particularly popular in eastern and central regions of India, he is more often called Balabhadra. Balarama is one in the triad, wherein Balarama is shown together with his brother Jagannath Krishna and sister Shubhadra Subhadra. Jagannath is identifiable from his circular eyes compared to oval of Shubhadra and almond-shaped eyes of the abstract icon for Balarama. Further, Balarama's face is white, Jagannath's icon is dark, and Subhadra icon is yellow. The third difference is the flat head of Jagannath icon, compared to semicircular carved head of abstract Balarama. The shape of Balabhadra's head, also called Balarama or Baladeva in these regions, varies in some temples between somewhat flat and semicircular. Topic. Temples Six major Balarama temples mentioned in the Puranas, Unchagayan, Ering, Ram Ghat, Baldeo, Nari and Talvan. Jagannath temples of Odisha and Jharkhand, particularly Puri Kendrapara, Baladevju temple Ananta Vasudeva temple Reptabaladevji Mandir, Jetalpur, Gujarat Shri Daau G Mandir, Vil Banchari, Haryana Kathmandu Temples, Nepal Shri Da G Mandir, Mainpuri, UP Mizhor Balarama Temple, Taliparamba, Kannur District, Kerala <laughs> Jainism The Jain Puranas, notably, the Trizastizalakapurusakarita of Himachandra, narrate hagiographical accounts of nine Baladevas or Balabhadras who are believed to be Salakapurusas literally torch bearers, great personalities. Balarama was the ninth one. Balarama along with Krishna are considered as cousins of the revered Tirthankara Naminatha Aristanami by Jains. The Jainism tradition lists 63 Salakapurusa or notable figures which, amongst others, includes the 24 Tirthankaras and nine sets of triads. One of these triads is Krishna as the Vasudeva, Balarama as the Baladeva, and Jarasandha as the Prati Vasudeva. In each age of the Jain cyclic time is born a Vasudeva with an elder brother termed the Baladeva. Between the triads, Baladeva upholds the principle of non violence, a central idea of Jainism. The villain is the Prati Vasudeva, who attempts to destroy the world. To save the world, Vasudeva Krishna has to forsake the non violence principle and kill the Prati Vasudeva. The stories of these triads can be found in the Harivamsa Purana 8th century CE of Jinasena not be confused with its namesake, the addendum to Mahabharata and the Trishashti Shalakapurusha Karita of Himachandra. The story of Krishna's life in the Puranas of Jainism follows the same general outline as those in the Hindu texts, but in details they are very different. They include Jain Tirthankaras as characters in the story, and generally are polemically critical of Krishna, unlike the versions found in the Mahabharata, the Bhagavata Purana, and the Vishnu Purana. For example, Krishna loses battles in the Jain versions, and his gopis and his clan of Yadavas die in a fire created by an ascetic named Devipayana. 
Similarly, after dying from the hunter Hara's arrow, the Jaina texts state Krishna goes to the third hell in Jain cosmology, while Balarama is said to go to the sixth heaven. In other Jain texts, Krishna and Baladeva are stated to be a cousin of the 22nd Tirthankara, Naminatha. The Jain texts state that Naminatha taught Krishna all the wisdom that he later gave to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. According to Jeffrey D. Long, a professor of religion known for his publications on Jainism, this connection between Krishna and Naminatha has been a historic reason for Jains to accept, read, and cite the Bhagavad Gita as a spiritually important text, celebrate Krishna related festivals, and intermingle with Hindus as spiritual cousins. Evidence related to early Jainism, states Patrick Olivelle and other scholars, suggests Balarama had been a significant farmer deity in Jain tradition in parts of the Indian subcontinent, such as near the Mathura region. Jain texts such as the Kalpasutra describe the same idea of embryo transfer, as in Hindu texts for Balarama, for the 24th Tirthankara Mahavira. In the latter case, the embryo of a Brahmin woman is moved into the womb of a Kshatriya woman. Balarama, states Pratapaditya Pal, was one of the historic deities revered in Jainism along with Ambika, Lakshmi, and others. As with the Hindu farmers, state Paul Dundas and other scholars, it is likely that Balarama was the patron deity of Jain farmers in the early centuries of the Common Era, because a large number of Balarama images have been found in early Jain arts. <laughs> Buddhism Balarama images have been discovered in central Indian Buddhist sites, such as with Sanchi Stupas at Indare, Megon and Channa. These are dated to around the start of the Common Era. The Gata Jataka, one of the Jataka tales that form part of Buddhist scriptures, depict Balarama as a previous birth of Lord Gautama Buddha and Krishna depicted as the previous birth of Buddha's disciple Sariputta. See also Hindu deities Gehen, Nordic deity with plough Philomelus, Greek deity with plough Shamgar, the biblical hero who kills enemies with farm equipment. Topic. References. Topic. Bibliography. Beck, Guy L. Ed. 2005. Alternative Krishnas: Regional and Vernacular Variations on a Hindu Deity. Sunni Press. ISBN 0-7914-6415-6, CS1 maint, Extra Text, Authors List link. Doniger, Wendy Purana Perennis, Reciprocity and Transformation in Hindu and Jaina Texts. Sunni Press. ISBN 0-7914-1381-0. Singh, Upinder a History of Ancient and Early Medieval India, From the Stone Age to the Twelfth Century, Pearson Education, ISBN 978-93-325-6996-6.